Now we are going to see how to create the short answer type questions. Go to the dashboard of the course and go to asserts. Go to add short answer. Once you click this add short answer tab, you will be getting this page. Here in rich text, you can give the question. description same as the process we have done in the MCQ and MSQ type questions you can give some hint here then give some feedback like correct incorrect or something and you can select the rows and columns since it is an essay type questions as per your need and you can give the scores here for each questions and in the grading you can select case insensitive string regular expression or numeric expression when you are giving the response be sure there should not be any space If you missed the space here, it will be get joined there should and if the students is giving space between this there and should, they will be getting the wrong answer. So be careful when you are giving short answer type questions, whatever response we are giving here within, with space, it will take it as a correct answer. If there is one or more answer, you can select the option add answer and add the answers here or if you want to delete any answer you can use this delete this answer and save this question and once you have saved the question you can add the question in the question group if there are more than one or two questions then as the same process go to as assessment add assessment tab and add the question group which we have created so that we will be getting the questions listed in the assignment page now we can see how to add a programming assignments go to outline tab Once you go to outline you will be seeing a tab add programming assignment next to add assessment select the tab add programming assessment then you will be getting this page programming assignment entity here you can give the parent unit under which the programming assignment want to be listed I am selecting as unit 2 and give the title Give the weightage here and give the problem statement here. Enable the option allow compile and run so that the students can compile the coding and run the coding. In program evaluator you can select Mooshak and Mooshak stateless. If you are selecting Mooshak then we need to update the server every time when you are creating a programming assignment. So it is better to select Mooshak stateless so that you can create the assignment and no need of any server updation. 
and give the sub submission due date and, and if there is any public and private test cases you can add it here add public test case input and output values if you don't want any public test cases you can delete by the option delete in the same way you can add the private test cases and allow programming languages you can select add language and in the drop down you can see the list of languages such as C, C++, Java, Python, Haskell you can select whatever language you prefer and give the template code suffix fix code invisible code everything you want to give for a programming assignment and status should be private whenever you are making the assignment public you should change the status as public and save the option